We meet an interesting bloke, Bill Richardson. He has a deep love of trucks and transport coming from his childhood. He's built his family business into what he describes as a modest industrial group that has an annual turnover measured in hundreds of millions of dollars. Bill has a lifelong love of trucks and has put together what has to be one of the most comprehensive truck museums in the world. Well, I, I, I collected truck brochures since I was eight. <laughs> so I suppose it was a natural progression. And um, uh, I found my grandfather's old international. He bought an international new in 1933, a model called a D1. And uh, I knew it had been owned by a little garage out the road, so I tracked it down to the uh, brother-in-law of the garage owner, I think, actually, and uh, he was only two blocks from home here. And because um, I've lived next door here since I was four, and uh, with a nine-year gap in the next street. and. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, I found this truck and dragged it home. It was just bones, chassis and no cab. And, and um, that was 1967. And the at Christmas that year, 67, 68, uh, we were in Christchurch and my wife said to me, without realising, I think, what she was starting, said, there's an old truck down that street. <laughs> <laughs> so I wheeled round and it was an identical one. And uh, I waited until yeah, I was getting a wire of fitness or of plugs or something and uh, I waited till the owner come back I said I'm looking for one of these for parts and um, do you know where there's another one he said no but if you've got uh, $170 you can have this one <laughs> so I gave him $170 and drove it home from Christchurch Bill's museum has come a long way since the 60s the, uh, I suppose the first 10 years I might have had 20 trucks you know. and what, what's, what have you got now about 150 Probably the most eye-catching vehicle in the museum is a 1940 Dodge Tanker that captures the flowing designs of the period. It's an, an RX-70 Dodge airflow and uh, rated as a four-tonner by Dodge. And um, it's powered by a, a 331 cubic inch six-cylinder side valve Dodge engine. And it's uh, one of the last batch of 75 which were built for Texaco. This truck was built in February 1940. It's the fourth one built. And uh, according to the experts, there are seven left. While the museum today has trucks representative of most periods, Bill Richardson's interest started with a much narrower focus. Apart from one or two of those interesting ones because of the family connection, like my grandfather's into, uh, my original interest was American trucks of the late 30s till they till the uh, 49 they actually stopped coming to New Zealand but you could get the few American trucks come in the early 50s under special license so that was sort of the era that I was interested in say from 36 to early 50s you know and I had a, a real high success rate in picking up some quite rare American trucks of that era you know things that you I didn't think I would ever find like Stuart and some of those rare brands you know found a few Rios and Stuart one Stuart and uh, some diamond tees. And then I thought, when I'd ex I thought I'd exhausted all that, um, I, would f I would complete the collection with British trucks of the same general era, you know, because they were such a part of our history. So I did that. But like most collectors, the limits of his vision grew. Uh, then I met an old guy in Nelson who was very keen on early American trucks in the late 20s and early 30s and he said you should be collecting them they're very interesting those trucks in that era you know and I said oh yeah, well, I don't know about that so as if to will me to do it he died and left me one all fully restored <laughs> a, a beautiful old 1928 Graham Brothers and it w I'd have to tell you it worked yeah. <laughs> there are two types of trucks in the riches in collection the beautifully restored models and a large number of workers that, apart from a good wash, could have been out working in the South Island yesterday. Uh, the ones that were rare enough but weren't good enough to leave on display, we've done. The ones that are good enough to leave original, we've left original. Because you can actually go and spend a lot of money on those and uh, not make them a lot more interesting than they are in their original state. 